Hi everyone, in this video we will look at the driving theory test for car driver set 7. Okay, let's get started. Question 1. What might you expect to happen in this situation? You can see from the picture that's a sign saying the right hand lane will close in 800 yards. You can see from this side here. It has the like this with the red on top. It means the lane on the right hand side will be closed in 800 yards. The first one said traffic will move into the left hand lane. Yeah, because the right hand lane is about to close. So the traffic will have to move to the left hand lane. We keep this in mind if you're not really sure, so you can carry on reading. Second one said traffic speed will increase. It's unlikely to happen. If it's two lanes still open, yes, fine, the traffic will carry on. But if one lane about to close, the speed ideally should be reduced, so not increase. Third one said traffic will move into the right-hand lane. Right-hand lane will be closed based on this side here, the right-hand lane closed. So all the traffic should move to the left-hand lane, not the right-hand lane. The last one, traffic will need to change position. Is Actually, you have to change. I mean, the, the car on the right hand side have to move to the left because the lane about to close. So the answer, traffic will move into the left hand lane. Question two, why wouldn't you fit chains to your wheels? You fit chain to your wheels because of the snow. Okay, to prevent skidding in deep snow. That's why you need to put the chain. Question three, which lights must you use if you are driving on a well-lit motorway at night? They're trying to trick you here. They're trying to trick that the motorway is well-lit. You can see it's very really bright, but the light you have to use is your headlight. Regardless of that road is well-lit, have a street light, have a street lamp or not, Nighttime, when your visibility reduced, you first thing you put the headlights on. Question four: Which sign means you have priority over oncoming vehicle? The sign showing you have the priority over oncoming vehicle is this one. So the left hand side, the arrow on the left hand side, represent you uh, who drive in the left hand lane, and the red one is showing for the oncoming. So they have to wait. Okay, let's have a look at the road like this on the left hand side we will see this blue sign here on the opposite side the side that they will see is a circle one the circle red one which is this showing that they have to wait and the oncoming can go so these two normally they come together so the yellow one is in the right hand lane is about to close so whoever will drive on the right hand lane the traffic on the right hand lane how to move back to the left or in the middle. The triangle side is a warning side telling you that the road that you're about to approach is two-way, two so you need to be careful. The answer for this question, just to clarify, this is your answer. Side showing that you have the priority over oncoming vehicle. Question five, what should you do if your vehicle has a puncture on the motorway? First one said, switch on your hazard warning light, which is nice, this is good. Stop in your lane. This is wrong. You don't want to stop in the middle of the road. When your vehicle has a puncture, the engine's still on. So what you have to do is just move to, move to somewhere a bit safer than in the middle of the road. The second option said, pull up on the hard shoulder, which is good. You can pull up. You definitely be able to move your car to the hard shoulder or in an emergency refugee area. Very, very nice. The last one said, and call for assistance. Yes, we have to call for DAA or for, I don't know, whoever you register with. Third option said, pull up on the hard shoulder or in an emergency refugee area, which is exactly the same as the second option. But the last one said, change the wheel as quickly as possible. This is not correct. Changing the wheel by yourself 
even you know how to do it, it's not recommend because it's not safe. The last one said drive slowly to the next service area to get assistance. Okay, your car not break down, of course, you're just a puncher, but you don't know how long you have to drive. And drive slowly is very dangerous for other traffic. So when you will have a puncher, just pull up on the hard shoulder and call for the assistant. Not call your friend, okay? Just call like kind of AA or, or the breakdown service. Question six, when may you overtake another vehicle on their left? This has been written down in the highway code. You allow to overtake other vehicle on their left. Situation one, when car in front of you would like to turn right and there's a space on the left. So you allow to overtake or undertake on the left second situation is when you're in traffic when you're queuing traffic you normally stay in your lane all right so you drive in your lane you don't want to switch the lane thing like that it's not safe to do when the lane on the right hand side the traffic move slower than the lane on the left so imagine that they both go same direction but the lane on the right hand side, which is this all purple car here, drive uh, move slower. So all this green car, the traffic move faster than the right hand side. So they can they can overtake or undertake on on the left. These two situations you allow to overtake another vehicle on that left. Let's have a look at the choice that they give to you. First, when the vehicle in front is signaled to turn left, they're going that way, they're going left, you cannot overtake on the left-hand side because you're just going to go direct it to them. Definitely not this one. The second one said, when approaching a motorway slip road where you will be turning off. Okay, the situation like this then. Imagine this road is uh, is coming to the slip road. There's a slip road in front of you. You're not allowed to overtake people on the left hand side. It's just because you would like to go to the slip road. What you have to do is you just wait. You just wait for this car and this car pass the entrance to the slip road and then your turn. You don't want to drive faster just because you would like to take the slip road. So not this one. The third one said when you're on the one way street, so it means both lane going same direction. Do you see something here? Okay. And if the traffic on the right hand lane, they drive slower. Yes, the traffic on the left hand lane can overtake on the left hand side. So that's the answer. The last one said when a slower vehicle is traveling in the right hand lane of the dual cutway. This is a different thing. Even on the Joe Cash Way is the one way street. This car here decided to go very slow on the right hand side. You coming from behind. This is not about queuing traffic now, isn't it? You're not allowed to overtake on the left hand side. What you have to do in this situation is you just need to keep some distance. You don't want to increase the speed and try to drive faster and just pass them on the left hand side even you said okay b this road you have to drive 70 but the purple car drive about 40 what can i do then they drive very slow below the speed limit you just need to slow the car down and stay on the left hand lane and finger cross hopefully the driver of the purple car notice and get some safe distance good gap so he or she can move back to the left hand lane Basically, the left-hand lane is your driving lane, right-hand lane is for overtaking. There must be some reason that this purple car couldn't go back to the left lane. If you drive very fast, if everybody drive very fast on the left-hand lane, when this purple car be able to get back to the left-hand lane? So you have to make a safe distance, make a safe gap, so the driver on the right-hand lane, so they can move back. So just need to slow the car down. All right. Question seven, when may you stop on the motorway? First said in an emergency or breakdown. That makes sense. Second one said if your mobile phone rings. Okay, we keep saying that we're not allowed to pick up the phone or use the handhold phone when, when you're driving. 
but it doesn't mean you have to stop the car on the motorway just to pick up the phone it's not safe the third one is that when you are tired and need a rest again yes you're tired you need a rest you need to stop but you have to stop somewhere safe and convenient not on the motorway the last one said if you have to read a map similar thing you need to read a map you lost yet stop by the service and then check your direction question eight why it is dangerous to leave rear fog light switch on after the fox has clear all right the answer is they may be confused with brake light this is it i showed you the picture and then you see what i mean okay have a look at this picture top one uh, brake light the bottom one the fog light the rear fog light now if they come together, it's fine. Imagine this car drive normal with just the bottom light on. Look like you have a brake light on. Some people said, no, we don't control it all. It's very bright. But you have to think about uh, when you drive, everything moves very fast. So you probably you have just one or two seconds to spot the thing and you have to react very quick so imagine you drive behind this car you see this light first thing i'm sure that you will do is off the gas and touch the foot brake so that's confusing isn't it and then maybe later you will just notice like oh that's it's just a rear fog light that he put it on okay the answer they may be confused with the brake light number nine what's the meaning of this sign i really want you to remember all the sign check the book uh know your traffic side this is very good very useful not just for the theory it's also for your practical test and in the future as well so this side mean national speed limit apply for the single crash way is 60 and the dual crash way or the motorway is 70. this is just for the normal car but if you're driving in the caravan or it's a truck so that will be different thing check that as well okay let's have a look at another side from another choice that they have first one is said no entry for vehicle this is no entry for the vehicle red circle with the white stripe on next one is no stopping no waiting sign uh, local speed limit apply is if they would like you to drive uh, 20 mile per hour they will have like kind of 20 or 50 it's depend on the roads question 10 the last question for this video you are driving in freezing condition icy road very slippery what should you do as you approach a sharp bend normally when you're approaching the sharp bend you need to slow the car down you need to use a foot brake you have to slow the car down before you enter the bend do not do it on the bend do it before this one is extra information here it said freezing condition it's very icy road the first one said firmly use your foot brake okay you have to use your foot brake that's a good thing you maybe you can do it when the road is dry not slippery your car can skid so we don't want to use it firmly the second one said coast into the bend coasting is the way that you put clutch down to the end and let the car roll by itself you don't have a control forget about freezing condition in in general in the dry road you don't want to coast anyway so not this one the third one says slow down gently this is good you slow the car down and you do it very gently as well i would like to add again do it before before as you approach not on it not on the bend that's the answer the last one said apply your parking brake you don't want to apply the parking brake on the move you use a parking brake when your car stops stationary you're completely stopped yes you apply the handbrake that's lovely if you apply the parking brake on the move what happened the back wheel will stop will fix but the front wheel free so if you move your steering wheel the car can spin do not try to do it even on the dry road okay that's all for this video i hope this video is helpful and make you understand more about your theory question if you enjoyed the video place the like button and if you would like to follow this series please subscribe i'll see you next time thank you bye bye